Hello students how are you all i hope you all are doing great so here is the continuation of question answers of chapter fiber to fabric this video will be followed by pdf file from where you can copy the question answers in your notebook so let's get started long answer type questions your first question is how is cotton obtained describe so here's the answer cotton is obtained from fruit of cotton plant that is called as cotton balls cotton balls when they get mature they burst open seeds with cotton fibers are picked from dried cotton ball by hand the fibers are separated from seed by combing and this process is called as ginning the fibers are cleaned to remove impurities like leaves and twigs twigs are the very thin and dry stem of a plant the clean cotton fibers are then spun into yarn a process known as spinning the yarn are then woven to make fabric Question number 2 What do you know about the history of cloth describe in brief The early men used leaves of trees or skin and fur of animals to cover their bodies Then they learned to weave grass and twigs together to form baskets and mats They also learned that cotton balls or stem of jute plant could be spun into yarns which further could be used to weave clothes as you all know early indian grew cotton plants near river ganga and early egyptian grew cotton near river nile the next question is how is jute obtained what are the uses of jute answer to it is jute is obtained from stem of jute plant jute plants are harvested at their flowering stage the stem of plant are cut and kept under water for many days after some days the stem starts rotting and this process is called as retting of fiber the stem are then taken out of water and fibers are separated by hand fibers are washed in water after that and dried in sun the uses of jute fibers are jute is used for making ropes carpets mats gunny bags etc question number 4 give reason for the following a part jute is used as packaging material can you think for the reason why jute is used as a packaging material the reason to it is jute is a strong and tough fiber hence it is used as packaging material the next part b we wear woolen clothes during winter season why the answer to this is wool trap air between its fiber and as we all know air is a bad conductor of heat hence it does not allow the heat from our body to escape and keep us warm in winter season the c part is in olden days people simply draped fabrics to cover their bodies do you know what is the reason the reason is stitching was not known at that time Here we come to our last section hots question number 1 we generally prefer jute to make gunny bags and handbags why the answer to this question is jute is a strong fiber that's why we use it to make gunny bags and handbags 
क्वेश्चन नंबर टू वी प्रिफर टू वियर कॉटन क्लोथ इन समर वाई एज यू ऑल नो कॉटन इज अ ग्रेट एब्सॉर्बेंट ऑफ स्वेट दैट्स वाई इट इज प्रिफर टू वियर इन समर Question number three on burning both a piece of paper and cloth give the same smell. What is common in their origin? Answer to it is piece of paper and cloth both are originated from plant. That's why they give same smell on burning. Question number four. West Bengal is the main jute producing state of India. Can you think? why answer to it is west bengal is a warm and humid state with well drained fertile soil and all these condition fulfill for the production of jute we are done with question answers of our science booster in next section we will be dealing with ncert questions we'll end this video with a positive saying yesterday is not ours to recover but tomorrow is ours to win or lose thank you stay home stay safe and have a great day